Hi guys, welcome to a quick and easy tutorial about Premiere Pro CC 2015. Now into this tutorial, I'm assuming you have never used Premiere Pro before, and all you need to do is quickly put some footage together, put some music behind it, and add a title, and another title at the end. Really simple, nothing complicated, no advanced techniques, no advanced options, just point, click, make a movie. Sweet. First off, to let you know, I'm not using a really fancy computer. I am using a MacBook Pro, late 2013 model, with a 2.6 GHz Intel Core i5 processor with 16 gigs of RAM. Now, if you don't know what any of that means, it's not a big deal, because what I'm trying to say is I'm editing this video on a laptop. Nothing special. Okay, first off, we need to open up Premiere. Okay, so when you open up Premiere, you can get this cool dialog box in Premiere Pro CC 2015. Say that 10 times faster. Okay. Um, so, for this purposes, all you're going to need to do is click New Project. We're going to name this project something cool like, I don't know, My Movie. And we're going to save it to our desktop. So, you can click Browse, click your desktop in the Finder window, and click Choose. Awesome, and then click OK. Now Premiere Pro will open up, and this is your one of the first windows you may see, maybe something else. You may see metalogging, which is uh, kind of confusing, and you don't need to know anything about it right now. Um, so what we can quickly do is, if you open up and see the screen, you can click Window, Workspaces, Assembly. Now we can assemble our movie. So this is your project bin, this is your timeline, and this is your program. So this is where video will show up. This is where you will see clips in a timeline format. And this is where you'll see your files to edit. So first off, we're going to click right click, import, and we're going to import some footage. So on a hard drive called 5, I have some stock that I shot myself of some cool 1080p videos. So we can import these files by highlighting them and click import. Nice. Now we need a sequence to put them in. So we can right click, new item, sequence. And now it's a 1080p video, so you might see something like this. You can click on digital SLR, the drop down, then click 1080p at 30 frames a second, and click OK. But first we're going to name it, we're going to name it My Movie. Awesome. Here's our movie. And now we need these clips in our movie. All right, so first, let's drag in the washing of the tomato clip. We are going to keep our exi existing settings and not change the sequence settings. You can, it's not going to change much. It doesn't really matter right now. Keep existing settings. Cool. Here's our tomato clip. Right now, it is a 24 second clip, and we're trying to make a 30 second movie. So, the best part of this footage is probably when she's holding the tomato. We're assuming this is a girl because it looks like girl hands. Very delicate and nice. Awesome. So we are going to start this footage right here. So we can click C on our keyboard for the cut tool and cut the footage here. Drag it forward a little bit and cut the footage here. Cool. Delete the beginning and delete the end. Nice. Now we can drag in some different footage. Let's drag in the flowers. Drag this in. It's kind of the same throughout the whole thing. It's really long right now. We need to shorten it. So grab the end with this little tool and shorten it. Awesome. Next, we want to drag in the New York City sidewalk footage. It's already pretty short, but we want to zoom in on these clips and actually get a better edit. This really cool bar down here, you can grab one of the ends and drag it in and you will see your footage. Cool. So now we can tell that this footage is actually longer than this. So we can actually grab the end, shorten it some, or you can use the cut tool and just cut it in half. That works too. Delete it. Next we will drag in some more footage, flowers, a long clip. So we will expand our timeline a little bit. Realize it's a really long clip, but the clip looks really nice. That's awesome. Um, we will move the timeline back some. Click cut. Click V for our selector tool. Then click on our clip and delete it. Now we have this, 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 and that. 
Now we cannot forget our pug footage. We really need this. This is the real kicker. It's super cute and everybody loves pugs. I know they have weird smushy faces, but I think they're adorable. Her name is Princess. Don't hate. Cool. So footage right now is really long, but it's like the best clip. She looks really surprised and cute right here. So we're going to cut this right here, zoom forward a little bit, and cut this right here. Now we can delete the middle parts we don't need. Don't need trim the fat off the edges, bring it back some. Sweet. We have really cool clipped footage. Right now, we don't need it just cutting. We need to have it fade between each clip for a really pretty elegant feel. And my footage is playing back at a good speed right now in the software because I have it set to half resolution. If we set it to full, it probably won't work as well. So let's keep it at half. Nice. So we need to fade the clips between each other. How do we do that? Really simple. You can right click between a clip and apply default transitions. Cool. We faded our first clip. Awesome. We will right click, apply default transitions right click apply default transitions right click apply default transitions awesome each clip fades between the next it's really pretty and we're loving it so far now we need some audio to go along with our really short 27 second or 28.27 second movie so we will right click import I have a file somewhere on my desktop called Preview, which it is a music file that I will link in the description that I found on Audio Jungle. Right now, it's just a preview file that they allow you to download and use in your edits just to see what it sounds like. So really quickly, I can play it. Cool. It's just a quick clip. Now we're going to cut this audio right here, and we're going to cut it right here. Delete the ends, and we're going to apply default transitions to give it a fade in and a fade out. Zoom it out some. Now we need to lower the volume. There's two ways of doing this. You can click on it and go to Effect Controls, and if Effect Controls is not in your program at the time click window and check effect controls it'll pop up you can click your volume drop down and drop it down some or you can zoom in on your timeline drag the box that it's in down a little bit and you can see your audio you can actually drag it and make it quieter so it's a lot quieter and nicer now we put these fades on the beginning to make it nice and we will move our footage back some to meet the beginning, fade the beginning, move this clip back some so it fades out. Awesome. Fade our plug clip out to have that nice transition, maybe extend it a little bit. Now, we have our cut. We really like it. We need to add some titles. Okay, so you're going to right click in your project bin, new item, title. Title 1, 1920 by 1080 at 29.97 frames a second. We are happy with that. So, a title window will pop up. This new cool thing, this is awesome. So what we'll do is click on our text tool. We will drag a box. Um, right now our font is some weird 8-bit wonder font. Let's click Babus New. It's a font that I installed. I'll put a link in the description where you can download this font and font size is 100 the color is white we will call it my movie and we will make it a lot bigger and it's thin right now let's go to book book looks awesome we will highlight it give it this nice red color and we can point click it and change the bounding box to just be right around the clip and then you can click center 
and then center it in the middle of the frame. Cool. And then click X. Now it, it comes stock in here as just footage that is five seconds long. You can drag this into your timeline. And you can fade it in and fade it out. And move it back a little bit so it fades. Just like that. That is awesome. Now, I like the black background, but it's not my favorite thing in the world. We want a white background. So, we're going to right click in our project bin, new item, color mat, 1920 by 1080 at 29.97 frames per second. Click OK. Then drag this down to white. It is the color of our color mat. And click OK. We'll call it white background. Now, we need to put this under all of our footage and stuff to make it white. So, we will grab all of our footage, move it up one layer, and then drag the white background under the beginning. Start at the beginning, and there you go. My movie. How about that? Awesome. Now we need to make a new title. Title 2. We will grab the text tool, say Finn. It still suck on the 8-bit wonder font. That's cool. Babus New. We will make it really big because we like it that way right now. That sounded weird. And <laughs> we will change the color. Keep it. Let's, let's make it blue. Blue sounds awesome. We will change our bounding box around Finn to easily center this. And it's on the footage we see right now because we tried to create the title above this footage. So it's going to show the background. There's a little fact of the day. And that's them facts. Okay, cool. And then exit out of this. Your title two is going to go at the end. We're going to fade the beginning fade the end. We're going to drag our music out to end with this. We want the white background behind this title too, so we can click white background, hold down option, and drag this clip out to copy it immediately. At the beginning of this, we'll drag it out. And this is the end. Fin. Awesome. The fin doesn't look exactly centered, although it's said centered in our dialog box. So we can click on title. You can go to your effect controls of this clip, drop down the motion tool, change your position on the X axis just a little bit. I'm pretty sure this is the X axis. I took geometry in high school. And move it over a little bit, click play, and wow. I think we have a good movie. I'm not going to cover color in this exercise because we don't need it for this footage, but I will cover it in another tutorial. Maybe the next one. Maybe the one after that. We don't know yet, but we'll see. So, we're going to save our project. File. Save. Now, we're ready to export this. We will go to File. Export. Media. Which we're clicked into My Movie Dialog, so it's going to pop this up. Gives you a quick little preview of what's going on. Cool. So we're going to change our settings. Right now it's set to what we want, but sometimes it might be something different like a uh, QuickTime movie, which all that's going to do for these purposes is just make a really big file. And we don't want a really big file. We want something we can send, post to YouTube, whatever we need. We want to, the format, drop it down to H.264, which is an MP4 codec of some sorts. It works. I like it. Then change the bit rate to this. It's normal. You can do your output name to my movie. You can choose where it's going to be saved. Save. Now we can, it's 1920 by 1080, that's good. 29.97 frames per second, that's good. NTSC, that's awesome. We can change the bit rate to 10 over 12, that's completely fine. It'll look great. The smaller these numbers are, the smaller your file size gets. We can see that it's only 18 megs right here. Or if we do 15, over 15, it's 53 megabytes. Both are small, but the higher the number, the better the quality video will be. So we can use maximum render quality. 
and I think we're ready to go. All you gotta do is click export and make sure your audio is turned on, which it is. Export. It shouldn't take that long because it's a really short video, but I will fast forward this just for your pleasure. And it is done. Cool, our movie has been exported. We can open it up, check it out. Here it is, we can play it. All right, we have Washington Tomato. It's gonna fade to some awesome flowers from my mom's backyard. I don't live with my mother, just, uh, just making a note. New York footage, another flower footage from mom's backyard. My pug princess. And the end, Finn, awesome. All right, guys, uh, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I know I talked really fast, but I'm assuming you're under a deadline. We were getting things done here. We were making things happen. Next time, I will slow down. And if you want me to do other things like this, or you think I talk too fast, feel free to say it in the comments. I think I can take it. But thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, guys.